Buongiorno, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Nancy Drew, the the Phantom of Venice. I don't know if this is going to be a new set or the previous set. It really depends on how this next part pans out. Okay. What? There are a set of numbers here. I... have we ever been given a set of numbers? Oh, this is supposed to be the lock thing. I don't know. Pound 800 1055? I have no idea. What? Nancy, could you at least say something? Oh, s seriously? What? That's such a dumb death. Especially when this one's just, you need to use your light. Of course, if I could grab it, it won't let me grab it. Well, I'm trying to think. Where, ha when have we ever been given numbers? Three, four, four, four... Seven? Observations. Flyers mean something. Puzzle box. Lost locket. I'm really thrown off by this one. Oh. The letter requests that you change the safe room lock combination lock to 43556. 43556. Killian. Where have I seen that name before? The address on this crate is the same address that was on that letter Helena dropped. Let me out of here! Hey! Open the door! Are you kidding me? Nope, it's not kidding me. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Door will lock if pressure is not equal. Okay, that's seriously it. Oh, I know I'm gonna die here, but... Okay, that affects both of them. Which one affects the middle? Second one, though. Nothing affects that second one. Yeah, don't worry. I figured that. Good news, you found an air pocket. Bad news, you didn't rescue. 
You didn't get rescued until long after Helena escaped. So we need to equal the pressures. Uh, I'm assuming we can't let the red balls... Those go up. Those go up as well. I'm so confused. Does this go up or down? Or they can be... Oh, they can be turned other ways. Actually, let's not drain this one. Increase this one. You don't have much time to do this. Okay, so the Bavals can be turned in either or direction. And so we drain and fill it, but then they do affect one another. Okay, that's an individual one right there. Oh my god. This is really short on time. I'm assuming they don't change though. Luigi the gondolier pulled you out and saved you from drowning. But Lena is long gone by then. It really is just an aim to fail at this point, because... Okay, so... Let's bring this one up, actually. Is that? Oh, come on! Why is it so quick? It's really short on time. I think I may have accidentally increased one a bit too high. There you go. All right. Nancy, I was starting to be worried about you. It's Helena, Helena Berg. She's Il Dottore. You are sure? Yes, and I think she knows she's been busted. So you have to activate the tracking device I planted on her and find her before she escapes. I will activate her device immediately. But because of Carnevale, there are no officers available to follow her. You will have to do this, Nancy. You want me to track her? After I have activated the tracking device, your PDA will show a picture of what method of transportation she has taken, whether she's traveling on foot, in a gondola, or by Vaporetto. From time to time, it will also announce where she is. Why can't it announce where she is all the time? 
The transmission of a continuous signal would make the device too easy to detect. So please, Nancy, watch your PDA. It will tell you Helena's method of transportation and her last location. Use this information to figure out where she is headed so you can go to that place and intercept her. But you must move quickly or she will get away. I will send someone to help you as soon as possible. Okay. This prudence, Rutherford. I did not like that she forced you on us. But when you are on a case, you are like a dog with a bone. I like that, Nancy Drew. There. Helena's tracking device is activated. She is all yours. Hurry. Okay. Santa Caria. In Vaporetto. In gondola. A piedi. What's piedi? I don't know. That's so... She's in a gondola. Great. A piedi. Oh, on foot now. A piedi. A piedi. In Vaporetto. Where's va Vaporetto? Oh no, Vaporetto is this. In Vaporetto. Campo Santa Margherita. Carezzonico. No. In Vaporetto. In Vaporetto. In gondola. In the gondola? Just... Santo. A piedi. In Vaporetto. No. Oh. Santa Maria del Giglio. In Vaporetto. There we go. They catch her? Oh. Damn it. That's actually rather difficult. I think last time when I, because I've had played this game before, uh, I lucked out. <laughs> Salute. In so, she, so, she's from there, she's either going this way or this way. Let me make a, a guess. Piedi. Now she's a on piedi. foot. In Vaporetto. In Vaporetto. In Vaporetto. A piedi. In gondola. A piedi. Got a feeling she's actually... A piedi. Academia. Yeah. A piedi. In gondola. Oh, she's in, in a gondola? gondola? A piedi. A piedi. Campo Santa Maria Formosa. Gotcha! Helena! Don't try to hide from me, Helena. Nancy? What are you doing here? Getting my locket back. What are you? A cop? A government agent? A thief? What? What do you want? I'm just an amateur detective who wants what all decent people want. Justice. It's what all- I had a feeling you were up to something. Your sudden arrival at Nascosta. Your feigned interest in Venice always asking questions. You've been watching Fango from the Altena all this time, haven't you? And now the little spy wants her locket back. Well, good. Because you're not getting it back. Ever. Ora! Ora! Helena! Stop! She's getting away! Don't be too pleased with yourself, Nancy Drew. It's not over between us. Not by a long shot. True to her word, Helena didn't go quietly. After she was arrested, she insisted that because of me, a silly American teenager, a terrible mistake had been made. She claimed that not only was she innocent, but the locket around her neck was hers. But after I showed the authorities everything I discovered, it became clear that all the thefts attributed to the Phantom of Venice were actually perpetrated by a gang, her gang. It started with Hildegard Killian, a wealthy pork belly heiress in Chicago, who gave Helena a list of the Venetian art objects for which she would happily pay a small fortune should Helena somehow obtain them for her. Inspired by what she had learned while covering the trial of criminal mastermind Leo Macchiano, 
Helena subtly pumped her sources in the police department for the names of known or suspected criminals who could serve her purposes, which enabled her to put together her very own theft ring made up of Antonio Fango, code name El Capitano. Using everything from train pigeons to chess notations to chocolates, he made sure everyone in the ring knew what they needed to know by the time they needed to know it. Gina Scaramuccia, a civil engineer familiar with practically every security system in existence, she determined the best way to steal an item and, via Il Capitano, passed this information along to Nico Petit, Brigella, who did the actual stealing. It was his idea to wear the mask and cape while pulling the heists, something of which Helena, Il Dottore, did not approve. He delivered what he stole to Enrico Tazza, Arlecchino. He hid the items in papier-mâché carnival costume heads and stashed them away until they could be shipped to Hildegard Killian. But thanks to Sophia and me, they're all on their way to prison. Prudence Rutherford was so delighted that all the stolen objects were recovered undamaged that she's decided to include me in her memoirs, which I guess I'm supposed to consider a great honor. Margarita is delighted too. Everyone thinks that because I was staying at Ca Nascosta, she was somehow instrumental in solving the case. She's suddenly the darling of Venetian high society, which for her is a dream come true. As for Colin, he called me once out of the blue. He had read about the Phantom's capture and had just one question. Did I get my locket back? When I said I had and was wearing it, there was a long silence, then he just hung up. For a while I felt bad. Then I remembered all those slides. <laughs> Poor Colin. <laughs> uh, where did the first theft take place? It, mm, it wasn't the Saint Gervais. I think that's what. I don't know. I don't know. The shoes fit you bought, okay, so... It's a bunch of stuff, but I didn't really bother with most of it. Oh, I answered the trivia question right! Go me! For a perfect mosaic. Websteri Hessa? Getting good mileage out of your Italian dictionary. Sampling gelato flavors. Or vacuuming up then it's a spare change. Huh. Okay, but that's it. So that is the end of the Phantom. Castle Malloy oh. has stood empty for almost a century in a remote corner of Ireland. The few who have dared to walk among its crumbling walls have told tales of devious fairies, ghostly lights, and a cursed spirit haunting the ruins. When an old friend of mine insists on holding her wedding there, things quickly go from merry to menacing and I soon find myself probing the darkest corners of the castle, struggling to unearth its secrets. Secrets which may have already cost the groom his life. Now join me as I make my way through this long-forgotten fortress in... The Haunting of Castle Malloy. I've actually already played this game. It's on my channel. I'll put the link. Well, you got the cards now. So either way, this was Nancy Drew, the Phantom of Venice. Um... I remember liking, I remember liking the game a lot when the first time I played it. I, I didn't realize. Well, this is the thing with these games, these uh, adventure games. They're a lot shorter than the majority of games, and I don't know when I was a kid, it felt real long to me. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I I, I liked it. I think I think I liked it a lot better the first time I played it, but this time, it's I like I like Colin. <laughs> Somewhat, if you didn't have me looking at the tester, I'm with you on that, Nancy. But what happened? So did I'm I'm under why did why did Nancy's locket get stolen? That's the one that was really curious to me. Did the did the Nico guy just steal it just because? I I don't. That's one thing I don't understand about it. But that's really not the point of this, where Nancy Drew is trying to recover lost, these lost artifacts. But either way, uh, up next we've actually, so uh, the lovely Cheetah McGee had actually gifted me with two games 
which suddenly I'm so tired right now. It's actually nearing midnight for me as I'm playing this. But um, Funcom actually created this game. The the oh my god, why it's literally just left my mind. Let me see if I can find it. Let me log on to Steam on my phone. <laughs> Make this easy for me. Of course, I don't think my catalog. No? How about the list of what my Steam games are? The Longest Journey, there we go. The Longest Journey and Greenfall. Greenfall? Dreamfall. Those are the games. Either way, until next time, guys. Arrivederci. Oh, but here's bloopers. Phantom of Venice, Pump Puzzle, take three. Speed. Action. <laughs> Not funny, guys. It almost fell on my toe. Phantom of Venice, Pigeon Flyby, take eight. Speed. Action. Oh, talk about hitting your mark. You okay? Uh, uh, I'm okay. Phantom of Venice, B puzzle, take eight. Action. Hey, Nancy. Howdy. Hi, Bernie. Come here, Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey. Come on. Come here, you stupid little... Whoa! I'm okay. It came without warning, seeking a statue and revenge.